Hi friends, welcome to this video. As you can see, my setup is a little bit different than before. I rearranged this, the room that I film in, which is also my art studio and everything that I do, all of my art and most of my filming and stuff in. Um, my editing I do at my computer downstairs, but this is the room where everything happens. And I acquired a heat press, which is actually just like right here, but I needed to move things around to get everything to fit. And so now we have books behind us, which I actually think it looks, it looks nice. I might change which books I put here to be like more popular books or books that like I resonate with at the moment. These are books that I read in like middle school or before middle school. So they're not books that I read anytime recently. Um, anyway, I don't know if I will do that or not, maybe. Stay tuned for that. Um, today we're going to see if I lessen my TBR at all in the month of March. Yesterday was the last day of the month, so we're filming this video today. Um, I will say I only read two books this month, which isn't a lot, but they're big books. But we're gonna start with the books that I hauled. So the only book I bought this month is The Desolation of Devil's Acre which is a part of the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. I didn't realize this book came out, if I'm being honest. Um, I was actually in Value Village and I, whenever I'm in a thrift store, I like to quickly browse a book to see if anything stands out to me um, or if there are books that I've been meaning to buy because you can just get them really cheap there. And I saw this and I didn't recognize the title and I was like, hmm. I don't think I've read that. So I looked at my Goodreads and lo and behold, I've read every book in the series except this one. Um, and it looks like it came out in 2021. I'm not sure the date, but that was last year. Somehow I totally missed the release of this book. So I bought it and I think it was only like $3.50 or like $4. So it was pretty cheap considering the normal price you would pay for books. I did not read it this month. I think I just got it like a week or two ago. Um, but I'm excited to get into it. I really like this series. I wouldn't say I'm as like gung ho about it as some people, but I do really love it. I love the idea of having images and stuff in them. Like, I don't think this is much of a spoiler, but like you get old, old timey images and they're kind of woven into the story, which is really nice. However, I am that person where if I have to wait for a book for too long, I do sort of forget the story plot. So. I kind of need to look up what happened previously before I try to read this book. But I think this might be a good one for the upcoming 24 hour readathon at the end of April because it does have pictures. So I feel like I can read it a little bit quicker. So that's the only book I, I bought, which I feel like is pretty good. So next we have the books that I finished this month and like I said I only read two and they were both audiobooks. I really just didn't have time to sit down and read a book. Um, well that's not true. You always have time for things that you want to make time for but I had other things that I prioritized over sitting down and reading. However I have been pretty good about listening to audiobooks on my commute and sometimes even while I work out or while I'm cleaning the house. And so I did burn through some. I finally finished The Fiery Cross, which is a part of the Outlander series. I don't really know how to talk about this book because it is like the sixth book in the series or something like that. It's like fifth or sixth, but it is almost 1500 pages, which um, it's a lot. So I'm proud of myself for finishing this. I like to have copies of books, even though I did listen to it audibly. Um, unless it's like a book that I really don't like and then obviously I'm not gonna buy a copy of it um, But I I love the series. So the next book that I read was Brissinger again in a series so kind of hard to talk about it But obviously it's about dragons and Aragon and stuff like that. This was a series that I missed out on in was it High school it was like middle school or high school is when these books were coming out for me and I never read them, but I remember all the hype and then there was a movie and everyone hated the movie. I will probably not watch the movie um, unless I'm like gonna watch it while I'm doing something else. I did not like the, the second book in the series. I wanna say I gave it a two star. It just really felt like nothing happened in that book. Um, and it's so many pages for nothing to happen. This book, I think I gave it a three stars. I do feel like more things happened. There were one or two reveals that were actually like, oh, okay. 
um, instead of, yeah, I, I saw that coming. Um, there was some fighting. There was a little bit more action, I guess. And I'm all for slow books, but the slowness needs to like build to something or be doing something. And I really felt in the second book that nothing was, like it wasn't even building anything. Like we have fighting in this and like, I see how it sort of built to that. It just felt like there was a lot of pointless things that happened that I didn't need to hear about. So that is my really short video for March. April will hopefully be longer. I will hopefully have read a lot of books because we have the 24 hour readathon April 30th. And I have a friend who's going to come over to my house at least for part of that. And we're going to read together. So hopefully we're actually productive reading instead of just talking the whole time. We will see. I would share my TBR with you now, but they haven't put out any like prompts or anything. Normally there's a bingo or something and then I go through my books and see what fits and from there decide what I want to read. So I'm kind of flying blind um, at this moment, but it's the first day of the month. So I'm sure we will get a bingo in a few weeks. I do have a few books that I would like to read. I have The King of Scars and Rule of Wolves that I really need to get to. I have a friend at work who's been borrowing all of my um, Lee Bardugo books and she's getting caught up to me. So I need to read those before she's ready for them so that I can give them to her without having to wait for her to finish them so that I can read them. Anyway, hopefully I'll read one of those. Um, like I said, The Des Desolation of Devil's Acre would probably be a great pick and I normally choose a couple graphic novels or comics just because it's nice to have a quick easy read here and there and then I always have at least one audiobook because at the end of that 24 hours I am tired and I will fall asleep if I continue trying to read so I normally start playing video games um, like Team Fight Tactics or League or just something that I can do sort of mindlessly and listen to an audiobook because it's the only way I can survive the full 24 hours um, and obviously like you don't need to do the full 24 hours, but it's kind of a fun challenge. Anyway, that's it for this video. Stay tuned if you want to see what other books I read. Let me know if there are any books you think I should read. Um, and give me a thumbs up if you are also going to participate in Dewey's 24 hour readathon, or if you would like to see that vlog because I will probably be vlogging. Um, anyway, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.